All right, so we have a pretty interesting question from the AMC 12B 2013 exam. We, um, it's a pretty long problem statement, so let's try to digest it. We have somebody choosing a number and then writing it down in base 5 and base 6. Seeing this base 5, base 6 sort of stuff kind of hints us to some modular arithmetic argument to solve this problem, perhaps. And then um, we want the last two digits of their sums um, in base 5 and base 6 treated as base 10 to be the same as the last two digits of 2 times n. And seeing it, um, and then seeing that we're dealing with the last amount of digits of a number really clues us in to that we're going to probably want to be using some modular arithmetic to solve this problem. So let's try to figure out what this condition actually means, right? So we want the last two digits of s to be the same as 2n. Well, I don't know about you guys, but working with last two digits is a lot harder for me than working in the last single digit. So let's first try to satisfy part of this condition. So let's first try to see which n will, um, will result in the last digit of s being equal to the last digit of 2n. And then that, that condition will be equivalent to n congruent to that, uh, sorry, sorry. That condition will be equivalent to b plus c is equal to 2a where n is congruent to a mod 10, congruent to b mod 5, and congruent to c mod 6. Now note that b is at most 4 and c is at most 5, so b plus c is at most 9, which means that a is at most um, 4. So a can at most be 0, 1, 2, 3, or 4. Let's write that down here. A is at most 4. But now um, let's rewrite A mod 10 in an equivalent form. So A mod 10 just by definition means that n is equal to 10k plus A. But then we can write this as 5 times 2k plus A. Because a is less than or equal to 4, this implies that n is congruent to a mod 5, which implies, if we look here, n is congruent to b mod 5, this implies that a is equal to b. And then when we plug a, when we plug b is equal to a into here, we get c is equal, c plus a is equal to 2a, so this implies that a is equal to b is equal to c. Now, if n is congruent to a mod 10, mod 5, and mod 6, okay, that means that n is congruent to a mod the LCM of 10, 5, and 6. So it is congruent to a mod 30 where a is 0, 1, 2, 3, or 4. So let me erase this and write that up, up here. So n is congruent to 0, 1, 2, 3, or 4, mod 30. And now um, let's think back. Uh, what, why do we care? Why do we want this to be true? Well, if n is congruent to 0, 1, 2, 3, or 4 mod 30, then 
the last digit of s will be the same as the last digit of 2n. So half of our condition is now done when this is satisfied. But now we need to make sure that the other half is satisfied. So now we need the tens digit of s to be the same as the tens digit of 2n. And well, the way we're going to do this is um, through an exhaustive search, right? So right now we only need to care about the tens digit because we know that as long as n is congruent to these, these numbers, um, mod 30, then the units digit will be satisfied. So let's look at the tens digit of n. And well, um, because n is going to be uh, congruent to 0 mod 30 and a three digit um, positive integer, the smallest possible n that we can start at is n is equal to 120 where it has a tens digit of 2. And note that all our valid n are going to like are going to look like this. etc cetera, etc. Cetera. Right? So these are going to be all of our valid n and well notice that for each sort of like group of five, for each like set of like um, five in 30, they're all going to have the same tens digit. So that means we can just completely, we can, we can just um, find which n um, work when n is congruent to zero mod 30 and then multiply it by five because if the tens digit will work for 0 mod 30, then the tens digit will also work for 1, 2, 3, 4 mod 30 because they share the same tens digit when they're in the same sort of pack of 30. So th this just basically allows us to exhaustively search, right? So we're going to be adding increments of 30 each time so um, let's see how many increments of 30 we're going to be able to add, right? So we're going to start at 110 and then we're going to go to 990. And then um, we can count the number of, we can count the number of um, numbers in this range when we're adding by 30 like so and this just ends up being precisely equal to 30. So we're gonna have 30 sort of sets of 30 that we have to go through. So what happens to the tens digit in base 10 when we add 30? Right so well 30 base 10 is just 30. So the tens digit will increase by 3 when we add 30 to n. So the tens digit of 2n will increase by 2 times 30. So it's, it's going to increase by 6. So therefore the tens digits, the only tens digits we need to check they're going to start from 2 times 2, which is 4, and then we're going to add 6, always making sure to go mod 10 because um, it's a tens digit. So then um, we just make sure to add 10, and then we're going to go, we're going to list all 30 of them, right? So that's not very hard to do. We can just exhaustively list them, especially after listing the first 5, we notice that we're going to repeat in a cycle of five, so we only need to list out four, six, two, eight, um, a total of six times. There we go. Now let's see what happens to the tens digit when, when we have it base five. So 120 base five is going to be four, zero, five something. Right, and then 30 base 5 
is going to be one one zero five something. So uh, the only th so what's going to happen to our um, by the way, I'm just gonna label this. This is gonna be two n um, base ten. This is gonna be n base five, and this is gonna be n base six. So um, the only thing that's gonna happen to the tens digit in base five is we're gonna add one to it. And it's going to start off at a 4, and then we're going to just continue adding 1 to it, and then this becomes extremely easy to list. We just become, we're just repeating 4, 0, 1, 2, 3. We're going to repeat that block six times. So it's going to end up being something like this. Right? And then um, we can do a very similar thing looking at the tens digit in base 6. So 120 and base 6 is going to be 20 base 6 something. And then now we're going to want to add a 30 in base 6. And 30 in base 6 is going to be 50. And then because we're, gonna, we're adding the tens digit under mod 6, adding 5 is the same as subtracting 1. So we're starting from 2 and we're subtracting 1. And then once again, this becomes pretty um, simple to list out. We just have the pattern 210543 repeated five times. Oh wait, um, seems like I must have skipped a number somewhere here. Two one zero five four three two one zero five four three two one zero five four three two one zero ah uh, there you go just towards the very end um two one zero five four three two one zero five four three and now we just need to check when we sum these two if it's going to equal to this one so um we can just we can just write the sums of these two up here and then just see one and then it's pretty and then we can just compare and see when these guys are going to be equal. So here we have one that's going to be equal. Here we have another one that's going to be equal. Here we have another one that's going to be equal. Here we have another one that's going to be equal and we have a another one that's going to be equal and so we basically have five that are going to be equal so essentially we're going to have five values of n if it's congruent to 0 mod 30 such that the last the two rightmost digits of s will be the same as 2n but um, it's the same for 1 2 3 4 because they all share the same tens digits so we have to multiply our final answer by 5 to get 25, so the answer is E.